Today, as we speak during this program, the 113th, is that it? Congress will be sworn in, and some people will be leaving. It's a great day. Warren Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Warren, I should say, will be sworn in. Tammy Baldwin, um, a, a markedly more liberal Senate, hopefully. Um, and also uh, in the House as well. Alan Grayson's heading back. Uh, Chris Murphy from Connecticut will be replacing a man, and I'm so excited to be able to say his name, hopefully just one last time. Joe Lieberman will be leaving us. Just a, a little bit of a recap of this guy's career. Um, as a young man, Joe Lieberman, probably a douchebag, and uh, certainly as a senator he was, and now he's leaving. We probably won't have to mention his name again until his name comes up in some story about him lobbying for some insurance company or doing something uh, of that ilk. But um, I have disliked Joe Lieberman for longer than I've been on the radio. So much so that even back in 2000, uh, following the election, I wrote a, well, I had a character based on his fake son. Uh, apparently he does have a son or two, I don't know. But um, there was a character that uh, I was doing, uh, Joe Lieberman's son, which I ended up making a movie uh, around it, a strange movie that got even stranger uh, with the events after 9-11, uh, which, of course, actually is available as a, a swag if you uh, become a member of the Majority Report, but that's not what we're talking about. Uh, Joe Lieberman, there was a um, one of the, the high watermarks of the, the net roots, I think, was in not only in their promoting a primary of uh, Joe Lieberman, because I think that was going to happen anyways. But I think it was indicative that the net roots, at least at that time, was a bellwether, a reflection of what was happening on the ground with activists. I was, uh, I consider it, um, I still am very proud about the fact that um, Ned Lamont announced that he was going to run against Joe Lieberman before his official announcement on the Friday before the Monday in which he officially announced, when I was uh, filling in for Randy Rhodes, I invited him on the program, uh, and he announced that he was, in fact, going to run against Joe Lieberman. Uh, sadly, Ned Lamont was not the guy to knock him off um, in the general election, but he did basically perform an invaluable function, which was to make it clear that Joe Lieberman was not our friend, was not a Democrat. Um, that notion of the left primarying people who were a problem in the uh, Democratic caucus, I think is uh, hopefully something we're going to see more in the future. Uh, to, to force the Democratic Party to the left. We, we just don't have enough pressure on them. And as we talk about the, the way that the fiscal deal waged by the... Um, crafted by the president, as we talk about the way that's being reported by left-of-center types, uh, we'll talk about why that's a, a problem. But So I'm very, very pleased today to say goodbye to Joe Lieberman. Do not let the door hit you. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Let the door hit you on the way out. Let the door hit you on the way out. May you trip down the steps on the way outside of the Capitol building. Uh, may you get into your car and find out that it has no gas or that it won't start. Um, when you get back on your private jet or your uh, corporate sponsored jet to go back to Connecticut, may you find that it has, um, that inclement weather keeps you on the tarmac for hours and that the bathroom is not functioning in the plane. Then when you get home, <laughs> to Hartford, uh, may you be stuck in a traffic jam 
for what's left of that industry in uh, creating traffic in downtown Hartford. And then after that, peace be with you. Enjoy. Well, when you get home, I hope the heat doesn't work either. Well, that would be nice. <laughs> but I'm not going to ask for the world. So, uh, Joe Lieberman, um, I hope uh, Fox invites you back on TV every now and then. Uh, so, but I doubt that they will. And so uh, I'm glad that you will no longer have any relevance um, because I just don't like you. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk to uh, Guy Lawson. I don't know how to make that more poetic, but I feel pretty good about it.